prophecy and prophets. I want you to hear me, child of God. Hear me. If you love the things of God, and when you see that the prophetic is under attack, sometimes you feel so sad in your spirit. It's under attack. How? Because some prophets claim they heard something from God, and at the end of the day, it fails. And sometimes your friend who is who is an unbeliever. A friend that you are trying even to win him for Christ. He then come to you and tell him that look at your people, look at your prophets. Look at the church. The church is sick. It's not the church that is sick. But the problem is some um, individuals in Christianity who claim to be prophets. Giving information. Claiming that it is coming from God. So people trust those information because they are saying God revealed, God said and many people who end up believing that at the end of the day when it fails then you know I am doing this video for you as a child of God to be very careful test all spirit and Wait for the result. How will you see someone is a prophet of God? Now you can be a prophet, but maybe a prophet of Ba. But for you to see someone is a real prophet of God is the result. Until you wait for the result, you can't say anything. There are some prophets that will come and predict. Predictions, everyone, even a seven-year boy, a seven-year child can predict. But the problem we have is now, is this. Some prophets will even give your own opinion, their own opinion, and they will still name it a prophecy coming from God. And on that note, there, there have been a lot of attack on prophets. There have been a lot of attack on prophets. A lot of attack on prophets. And that is why I want, I want you people to understand from today. Now, December 7th is very close. A week today, right? December 7th, no, today is Friday. So tomorrow's week. It's not now what you hear. No problem. I want to cover. Thank you, those who have been following us. Thank you for listening to us. We only come to you. To tell you the mind of God. That is why by the grace and the mercies of God. Our prophecies are not failing. Because it's not ours. It's just coming from us. We are just being very so to communicate things to you. But the question is. Why do even God reveal things to people like us? I think, I think the master Jesus will be the best person to answer that we know. We don't know. But maybe I know. Maybe. 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 And that is what is written in the Bible. December 7th is just around the corner. Now watch this. We have been telling you so many things about John Dramani Mahama, His Excellency, the Vice President Baumia, um, Honorable Kennedy of Japan, Shada, uh, um, Alan Chemathen, and Alan Chemathen. We have been covering so much. And now, what is the Lord saying? I received a message from a very powerful man of God. And he, he was asking the prophet, what is your last prophecy? We are waiting to hear from you. What is your last vision about this election? Listen to me, child of God. Let me say this first. We are not political pastors. We will never be political pastors. No. We are messengers of God. We are messengers of God. That is why you have to check so far some prophecies that, that are already out and they are fulfilled. If we are to vote today, who is going to be a president? 
What is the law saying about the December 7 election? Just one week. Just one week. Let me check the, the today's date is what? Just one 29th, 29th of November. Just one week. What is the law saying? Let me start by saying that those of you, the intercessors of um, His Excellency, the Vice President, Alejibaumi, what are you guys doing, intercessors? If indeed, so what are you people doing? Why am I saying that? Because our Vice President is missing in the realms of the Spirit. We can't see him. We can't see him. We can't. You move into the spiritual realm trying to find and you can't find him. You can't see him. So this is for the intercessors. Trust me. We only have one week. If you guys, someone come on a man in terms of man bomb pyre, you will never get what you expect and you'll never get the results. This is the reason. Remember concerning my prophecy, this thing I'm telling you, I've been updating it because God gave us information. I started giving a prophecy on 20, 20, no, 31st, 2019 to 2020, I saw so many things and we covered it. Now, it's finally here, 2024 is finally here and Ghana's election is finally here. Today is 29 November. Now watch this. If we are to vote today, John Mahama is president. If we are to vote today, 29th of November, John Mahama is president. I'm not saying it's going to be. He, he is. Because in the realms of the spirit, everything is working for him. And maybe let me congratulate those of you who are praying for him. The party... And everyone who is in support of Mahama, you guys are leading now. Don't be worried about this. I have to tell. Don't forget my prophecy concerning the uh, president, uh, Nanado Dankwa. When the Lord told me that he is, it's all over the social media. The reason why you don't know me. It's because you don't know me. And that's not a problem. Maybe you can call me the unknown prophet. It's okay. Yet they were prophets of God. Child of God. Let me say this so that you know. Well, you know. And I now understand. The entire. At some point, Elijah requested that Abba, 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 Mumra, Menso Mumra, let's prove, let's know who is a real man of God. I now understand. Sometimes I go to social media and I heard people, especially men of God, saying that Dr. Elijah Baumia, God says he's a president for this nation. Sometimes I'm shocked. I just ask myself, are they giving the correct information? I just ask myself. I just ask myself, is what they are saying true? I'm not going to judge. December 7 is just around the corner. Let's wait. But if we are to vote today, John Mahama is president. If we are to vote today, as of 29th November, John Mahama is president. I saw. And in the realms of the spirit, I saw him being lifted. I saw him being lifted. And I saw a lot of jubilations different regions of this country and i saw them with the ndc colors the ndc colors if we have intercessors for dr Leji Baumia, you have only seven days to fight back if we have i don't know i'm not sure but i believe i believe his opinion i believe they have if they have intercessors if indeed they are intercessors for dr Leji Baumia, you have only Seven days to fight back if the Lord will answer your prayer. But my name is Prophet John Lord. Jubilations all over the countries and the, uh, all over the regions of this country, Ghana. Jubilations. And you are seeing the NDC flag waving. I saw rain. December 7. Rain, rain, rain. I saw rain. 
and I saw the umbrella covering some people. It is in the hands of God. God bless Ghana and God bless everybody. Remember, remember, if we are to vote today, today, John Dramani Mahama is president. On that note, let me congratulate the NDZ people, those who are praying for him. You guys, you are doing a great job. And let me also talk to my brothers who are interceding for MPP. Fight. 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 You have less than a week to fight. But that's the stance now. Don't deceive yourself and don't deceive the man himself. He's not found. You can, we can see. We can see him in the spiritual realm. Yakatan is who soon sumu. And John Mahama is leading. Wait before you say anything. Let's, let's wait for December 7. But if you are to vote today, John Mahama is president of this nation. God bless you. Share, like, comment. Child of God, wait. When after this prophecy, notice those who are from God and those who are not from God. Don't confuse the next generation. Don't confuse the next generation. Child of God, I want to talk to you yourself. So, be advised and be very careful. I love you and see you. God bless Ghana and God bless all of you. This is the visions of John Lord. The John Lord visions. Hmm. Don't joke with it. If a prophecy is coming from me, it's coming from God. We have been praying a lot. And finally, we have to talk to you. So that when it happens, you know it doesn't matter the number of fake prophets. God still have people. To talk to. God bless Ghana. And God bless the entire nation. God bless you for watching. God bless you. I have a lot of radio in Tibia, and any day the kind of share you and I see you here. Now, my down my so one was subscribe now. The Amayan, if you saw what I heard, then soon you subscribe. We are now so what subscribe now. The Amayan, it didn't make us a bass. I'll be a first person. I say, yeah, stories be an as a story be an a tumor on Sabaka now. Also, when you be a share money to us, I had the edit and the edition. The only thing I can pen, the only thing I can pen. And no quite a debremo awaha. And we two subscribe on the Berada. And eh, you call Prophet John Lord a sorry fee. And you call Fadi on so woe. And the fat gun among your same. About to have a ton of seven Zimban who dear then. And the Bremo. And the moon I must say, I honey the movie.